Well, thank you very much, Hashim. As you can see, the background here is one of the businesses that felt casualty to the anti-finance bill 2024 demos there, led by Gen Z. This is broken glass, as you can see. Uh, the workers there are trying to recoup their losses if they can. But what, what is very evident is that what you're seeing in this uh, central business district, this is Kencom area, does not compare with the situation downtown Nairobi. We're talking about buildings that are still on fire, losses from traders. And uh, some of the traders that we interviewed earlier have said that they're not so sure that the works of vandalism on their businesses, on their various stalls, was just the work of demonstrators. And quoting one of them says that this, uh, the demonstrators, while the demonstrators were demonstrating, uh, goons infiltrated um, the central business district and were targeting particular businesses. Some have been left with total losses. And especially in Sianda, as well as uh, Sunbeam areas, some of the traders there are also concerned and worried about the whereabouts of their counterparts, who they do not or rather cannot be accounted for as we speak. But to give us more details is that we ran into uh, Member County Assembly Nairobi, who is going to give us a quick insight as to exactly what is the status report across the Central Business District this day. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Give us a feel. How does the day look like today from where you sit? Are we going back to normalcy or will it take it some time? Uh, we, 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 it is going to take us some time. It's not easy. It's very painful. The situation is uh, wanting. I uh, have been going out since morning and I can tell you there is a, a, a mass damage in our, in our city. Our business has been destroyed completely. There are people who we do not know whether they are going to recover very soon. So I am calling upon the government, the, the national government, the county government, to come in hard for help mm -hmm. for our people. Now for clarity, maybe you can tell us exactly which docket you name and the docket that you are in charge of. Yeah, my name is Amoneki Kwenya, the MCA CBD. Mm -hmm. This is my area and um, my people are in pain. Are in pain. Uh, we've heard from traders early in the morning and their opinion is that Goons took advantage of the demos to destroy their businesses. From uh, the walkabout that you have done uh, within the central business district, do you share the same opinion or do you have a divergent view of exactly what happened yesterday? Uh, that is exactly what it is. These are not uh, the normal demonstrators because their concerns were totally different from what we have seen. These are goons who were well organized. They knew what they are coming to do in the city. Their purpose was also about the bill or anything else. Their purpose was to come and destroy our businesses. It's very unfortunate. Some of the buildings are still on fire even right now. We, we are lacking some of our, our people in the city, our business people, as some of them are trapped in those buildings. And I'm calling upon the county government to give us uh, support to look for their bodies or, their, or, or, or what about our people. So uh, it's very unfortunate that people took advantage of the peaceful demonstrators who are, had issues, who are fighting for some issues. There are people who came purposely to destroy the city. And actually they have done, they have done that. What I will call upon our government, the national government and the county government, is that we need to protect these business people. We need to make sure that CBD is out of bound whenever they are demonstrators. Because uh, it, have, it has come to a, to a, to a, to a concern and, uh, and uh, we, we have now the information that there are people who always wait for the right time to come and vandalize, to come and destroy our businesses. So it is our duty as a government, it's our duty as a people, even the businessmen, to make sure that we are well protected because we have to do business. So what exactly are you doing as uh, the county government? Right now we have those allegations or rather, you know, allegations that, you know, or assumptions mm -hmm. that there are some traders who are still trapped, especially at uh, uh, the Sunbeam complex. Yeah. And uh, what are you doing if it's a rescue or retrieval mission? What are you doing about it? Okay, I've just spoken to our disaster management, the, the, C, the, the chief officer and uh, have given him the information, because the information was not with us. Maybe uh, uh, we got the information very late, that there are still people who are trapped there. And we are working on it, the, 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 the disaster man, uh, team is working on it, and we are going to put our machines there to make sure that the, the, the fire is completely off, and if there is anybody or any person who is still trapped there, 
we are going to make sure that we rescue them. In as far as disaster management is concerned, we have seen the anti-finance uh, bill uh, schedule, so to speak. Yeah. So tomorrow they are at it again. Yeah. What contingency plan do you have in place as Nairobi County to ensure, especially traders and those who come to CBD to act their living, do not, uh, you know, get into such tough situations, loss of life, maiming and also property? Uh, as, the, as the county government, we have no capacity. We do not control the, the security. The security uh, uh, holistically belongs to the, the national government. So we are calling upon the national government to give us support, to make sure that our properties are well protected. Whatever cost it may take, let our businesses be protected. Let the president put in, uh, in, uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in place efforts and forces that will make sure that our businesses are protected and the people who are doing business in CBD are well protected. And we are sure the commitment he made yesterday, that is the commitment that is going to be there on the ground. Make sure that everything, every loophole is sealed so that our businesses can learn. And I will call upon our people, when you see there is some tension, when you see that you cannot control the ground, make sure that you close your business and let's wait for come, come to come uh, to be back so, to this resume. Yeah. Thank you very much, Hashim. We have been speaking to MCA CBD there. And what is very clear is that normalcy is slowly creeping back to the central business district. But a majority of traders, it will take a while before their businesses are up and running. As you can see, this is shards of glass uh, on the ground. Uh, just to just pick one of the businesses that is counting losses post those particular demos. Down downtown Nairobi, the situation is more or less the same with a little bit more losses. And uh, some worries and concerns from traders is that their fellow counterparts in those buildings that are still on fire are unaccounted for. And a clarion call to national government and county government to work together to ensure that the traders who may be trapped in these particular buildings are retrieved uh, or rather rescued as it is. We're going to continue keeping tabs on what is happening on the central business district. But what you need to know if you're coming to the central business district, you will need a mask. Yes, because the air is still, um, you know, pepperish because of the tear gas that was lobbed against the dis de demonstrators to dissuade the demos yesterday. Or yes, you have to walk around with a handkerchief, uh, Hashim. Now back to you, Broadcasting House.